Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of how to concentrate. Now, I'm just going to share a few more last um, tips or recommendations as to how I settle my butterfly brain. Recommendation one is have a high protein meal before concentrating. So I am a massive fan of pizza and pasta. I love my carbs. And I also love my sugar, which means chocolate and cupcakes and muffins and pretty much lots of sugary treats. Anyway, if I have a big task that I've got to concentrate and I've just got to get done, I find that if I have a high protein meal, like a couple of boiled eggs before concentrating, not only am I able to concentrate for a long period of time, but I don't get hungry, which means I don't get up from my chair and wander around looking for treats or snacks to eat, which obviously then break my concentration. Recommendation two is break the task down. So don't just say, okay, I'm going to write this whole entire essay in the space of five hours. That's insane. Say to yourself, okay, I'm going to focus on working on writing an amazing introduction um, between now and the next 40 minutes. And then I'm going to spend, you know, the next three 40 minute blocks concentrating on the body and then the final last 40 minute block on writing of the perfect conclusion. So break it down into manageable tasks. That way you won't feel overwhelmed by the whole entire project and you'll feel more inspired or more motivated to just focus on the, the little individual tasks that seemed a lot more achievable and manageable and therefore you'll actually sit down and get it done. Recommendation three, keep your breaks short. Now, I normally concentrate for about 40 minutes to 45 minutes. That's about as much as my brain can really handle at times. However, sometimes I'm in this amazing zone and I'm focused and I'm determined and I just don't need to break. So I just keep powering through. But normally I have to get up out of my seat every sort of 40 to 45 minutes. Now, I don't let my break last more than an absolute maximum of 15 minutes. I find if I let myself um, have a break for any longer period of that, I find myself getting distracted and, you know, I'll call a friend on, and have a chapter on the phone or I'll look on my social media feed or look at something online or read a book on something completely different. If my break opportunity is too big, I will just allow all these distractions to come in and break my concentration. So keep your breaks short and sharp. And don't forget the hydration, so important. Recommendation five, headphones, perfect. People think you're listening to something really important and then they know not to chat to you or distract you. Now, I this is actually my favorite uh, recommendation to try and concentrate. So when I'm at work or I'm at home working on something and I don't want anyone to distract me or I just wanna get into that zone that I love, I put my headphones on and I either listen to meditational music or I listen to my favorite music just off um, iTunes. And then recommendation number six is change your location. So many times when I'm at work and I'm having trouble concentrating and I just feel like the energy around me is a little bit stale, I will literally grab my laptop and my headphones and head to my local cafe where I can sit there and concentrate and you know and maybe enjoy a cup of coffee um, and maybe a muffin or a snack um, well, and get the task done and because I know that I can't sit in the cafe all day long it does actually put a bit of a time frame on me and puts the pressure on me to make sure that I actually get that the task done within a defined time. That's it for Lifestyle Love today. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv and you can also subscribe to the official Sugar Mama website. Anyway, that's it. Ciao for now and I'll see you next week on either Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao!